What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am really excited and that is because in today's video we are going to be taking this piece of base wood right here and wood carving it to a mini axe. So after the basic sketch, I took it over to the piece of base wood and laid out the template right here. The main thing I'm looking to do right here is just get my outer edges kind of going, you know, that way I can take it to the scroll saw because my inside part of the design always changes. For the next step, I'm going to shape this up a little bit with this burr, so I'm just going to go through here and get the hard to reach areas. Okay, the next step here is to take this little bitty round burr and just trace the edges out. So I ended up changing the design on this thing like a million times. I have decided just to go with a basic Celtic type of theme and I think it's turning out pretty nice. There is a level of frustration I think that goes with being an artist and that's simply because you are creating something new and when you create something new you haven't done it before so therefore your brain has to adapt with these abstract ways of thinking sometimes. So don't forget the reason why you started doing artistry in the first place. I know it's frustrating sometimes, but you did it to have fun. So don't let your art turn on you where you turn it into this big job. No, it's supposed to be fun. As I start this, I want my cuts to be really clean. So I'll probably come in behind here after I got that cut right there with some sandpaper and just go along right here and just smooth everything out. Okay, I got that roughed out right there. Now I'm gonna take this riffler right here. You can find these below in my Amazon affiliate links. These are awesome little tools. I'm just gonna go through here and just sand, just like so.
Okay, for the next part, I am going to take this diamond bit right here and cut through here and just cut some straight lines and probably indent these down here. Okay, I got this sanded to about 400 right here and we're gonna move to the next step and since this is base wood it doesn't have a lot of strong grain structure so when I put my stain on here you're not gonna see a lot of grain come through so I am going to basically you know fold some grain and add some character to this so I'm gonna take my razor tip wood burner right here turn it up and just basically add some striations in there maybe um, just faking some grain Okay, we're going to do these in random places. This razor tip's really nice right here, so I can just go in here and just barely press down. And this really cuts through the base wood really nice. Okay, the idea is to make the head and the side lingots right here metal and the way I'm going to do that is with some acrylic black paint and silver For the next step here, I'm taking a very small amount of silver paint and kind of rubbing it off and then putting it on the head of this little axe right here. And this is going to give it a nice wash where it's not covering up the black too much. Okay, this is looking pretty awesome right here. This wash came out really great. Thank you for watching the video. I really hope you got a lot out of it. Now do me a favor, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so and hit the bell notification icon beside the subscribe button. That way you will be notified when new videos come out. I have no idea why I'm pointing this everywhere. So hit that like button, and if you dislike and hit the thumbs down two times. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> I'll see you next time.